I hate this title, but hey, top five scary ghost videos that'll make you cry for daddy. Hey, you want? I guess because the cry for mama one did really good, huh? Probably I don't know. I guess we got called daddy this time. Hey, peep, no. <laughs> but either way it goes, though. All jokes aside, happy 420. And if you don't indulge, then happy April 20. I mean, it's still April 20. If ain't nothing I can do about that part, doggy ball. Hey, wanna check out some ghosts? You wanna check out the original video? The link will be in the description below. But let's go. The Witching Board. Popular paranormal live streamer Ricky Velasquez and his wife Liz travel to an allegedly haunted house somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. Now apparently the story of this place is truly dark and disturbing because Ricky will only mention that the house was once home to an extremely large family named Hernandez. Apparently some tragic and unspeakable event occurred at the Hernandez home and most of the family, including many women and children, lost their lives. Now, whatever did happen, apparently it was so horrific that many people still leave candles at the house to pay their respects to this day. So after exploring the downstairs, Ricky and Liz head up to the second floor, and that's when they begin to experience something that makes their blood run cold. Ricky is broadcasting their exploration live on YouTube, and as he reads comments from his live stream audience, this happens. Hola. The couple hears very strange sounds from somewhere on the top floor banging, moaning, and even what sounds like the voice of a young child. So now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. And as you might have guessed, it did not go well. No, we... <laughs> When he uh panned the camera, I, I forgot I was the second person there with him. So when he panned the camera, she was there. That tripped me out though. I was like, ooh. Let me of a young a child. No, man, no, no. So now, in an attempt to make contact with the dead, Ricky and Liz decide to use a Ouija board. And as you might have guessed, it did not go well. During the Ouija board session, the couple continues to hear disturbing sounds coming from the house. Then something happens that absolutely scares the shit out of them. Estás aquí con nosotros? Liz, muévete de aquí. Muévete. Muévete. Ooh, out of it, gone. <laughs> While using the Ouija board, Liz asks, Are you here with us? To which a terrifying little voice replies, Yes. Ricky believes that he hears the voice coming from right behind him. So he looks through a clothing rack that is nearby and sees the horrifying, deathly pale face of a woman. The couple has had enough and they just run out of there as fast as they can. Now, keep in mind that all of this was broadcast live on YouTube. So whether it's real or not, it, it would have been scary. much harder to fake. But whether it is real or fake, the footage is definitely very creepy. I agree but though. if you want to take a look at the video for yourself, you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Ricky Velasquez. Get me out of here. A group of friends are having a great time in Torreon, Mexico when they decide to go on a very popular tourist attraction. 
the Cristo de la Noa's cable car ride. The cable car provides beautiful scenery of the city as it transports tourists up the mountain and through the streets of Torreon. Hey, that's With such dope. a spectacular bird's eye view of the city, the group of friends can't help but take a video to capture the moment. But what happens on this particular ride is very disturbing. <laughs> What sounds like the voice of a little girl can be heard screaming in terror, and the group has no idea where the voice is coming from. Now, after the video was shared on Facebook, many shocked viewers believe they hear the girl say, quote, get me out of here. I feel alone. It's not like it's in the... But unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So if you do, please let me know what you think the girl is saying down in the comments. Did the group accidentally capture a paranormal event on camera? Or maybe... Could be, possibly, I don't know, because the luck of car came past them. Maybe it's another family on there with a kid. You know how kids be, and they be all tripping when they get scared of ish like this because it's new to them. I don't know, maybe that situation, because I thought I saw a car come by, or some ish really going on, or edited. It's not like it was, it was within their own cart, though. Let me go back a bit. I think I went back to No far. more event on camera. You decide. <laughs> We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Seven days. Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by a desperate landlord of an allegedly haunted apartment. The landlord claims that just over 10 years ago, a family of three rented the apartment. One night, the father had an unexplained psychotic break and took the lives of his wife and child inside the apartment. Their bodies were found hidden in the closet. The father went on the run and he was never found. Since the horrific incident, the owner finds it impossible to get tenants to stay in the apartment for more than a week. He says that within seven days, all of them oh, abruptly yes. decide to just move out. So, the landlord challenges the Omagatoki team to live in the apartment for one week to figure out just what it is about the property that causes tenants to refuse to stay. Investigator Tomo accepts the challenge and decides to live in the apartment alone for seven days. A static camera records Tomo as he sleeps and spends time in the bedroom, where the tragedy oh. took place ten years earlier. <laughs> ヒロ Tomo spends the first two nights and nothing really happens. But on the third night, at around midnight, Tomo notices something very odd in the bathroom. Boy, that's the landlord. <laughs> Get your big head ass on.
<laughs> a strange shadow can be seen in the window, but Tomo can't find anything outside that could be casting the unexplained shadow. Then the next night, night number four, and things get a bit weirder. The shadow from the night before has now disappeared as mysteriously as it came. But when Tomo goes to bed, he's disturbed several times while trying to sleep, as he keeps getting the eerie feeling that someone is in the room with him, standing near the closet. Cut to nights five and six, and now Tomo starts to complain that he hasn't been able to sleep as he keeps hearing unexplained footsteps, and even more terrifying, the unexplained mumbling voice of a woman. Now it's day seven, Tomo is exhausted and considers quitting the seven day challenge and just going home even though there's only one day left. Eventually he decides that he can tough it out and stays for the seventh and final night. The investigator wakes up the next day refreshed and happy. He says he finally got a great night's sleep in the apartment. <laughs> And this is when things get weird. While Tomo is at work, Hiro goes through the footage that was recorded on the final night of the challenge. What he finds leaves him speechless because something did happen that night. Something that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. Aww. This one has me kind of pulled in so far. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. What he finds leaves him speechless. Because oh something did happen that night. Something that Tomo has no recollection of. Something truly chilling. <laughs> oh shit I'm about to turn this shit off. In the video, Tomo seems completely out of it as he grabs the camera and sits in front of the closet. The video footage begins to glitch as Tomo creepily smiles at the camera, 
and then inexplicably seems to just start crying. The footage begins to glitch and loop, repeating over and over as the terrifying face of a woman seems to peer out at the camera from inside the closet. Tomo says he doesn't remember anything hey, about was, the incident. Hey, I don't care, dog. That was creepy as hell, man. <laughs> the closet. Oh, that one was good. That was good. Tomo says he doesn't remember anything about the incident, and until seeing the bizarre footage, he believed that he had slept soundly throughout the night. Mm. So could it be that the investigator Tomo, captured the out, spirit boy. of the woman whose life was taken inside the bedroom? The woman whose body was found inside this same closet? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation and many more scary videos over on the YouTube channel, Omega Toki Film. Into the woods. So it's another week and another mysterious video. This time I was emailed about a very old video without a source that's been making the rounds on social media. In the video, a group of friends are camping in the middle of the forest. Late into the night, they start to hear strange sounds coming from the dark woods. Now, in what is probably a terrible decision, they decide to grab their flashlights and go to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. <laughs> That's dog from Resident Evil. As they search for the source of the creepy sounds, the group spots what appears to be some kind of creature with glowing eyes hiding in the tree line. Shocked online viewers have pointed out that even with the potato quality old video, you can still see that the strange unidentified creature actually appears to blink before it runs off into that the woods, true, adding just a tiny bit more credibility to this very odd footage. I didn't peep that. That that is true. I mean, cause yeah, I, I'm like it's a big ass mask. Could be edited. I mean, that's why you keep the quality low so you can f with the mental, the visual a little more. But overall, though, it was creepy. It was good. Bit more credibility I to this very good. odd footage. But without a source, once again, we'll never know the full story on out. this old video. So is it real? Or just an elaborate hoax. As okay. always, you decide. That one was good, uh, creepy. We gotta add. I'm gonna let it play real quick. I had to blow it out at first because I was trying to get my what's name going. You decide. Getting your foot in the door. Now, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I featured a ton of Saudi door kicking ghost hunters. These include Adventure Allah, Yaza 1200, Abdullah Al Ambari, and the guy we'll be focusing on in this video, Adventure Jasim. Now, if you're not familiar with the Saudi ghost hunters I've featured, then here's a quick tutorial. Number one, they love hunting jinns. Idafi jinn. Ya jinn. Ya jinn. Number two. The gins often seem to throw large mm -hmm. objects at them. And finally, number three, and most important of all, Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors. Mm -hmm. I do remember them. I, I do like them. They will chase after it, for real, for real. I do remember. 
Not just saying that after he recapped it all, like, duh, but yeah, for I do remember, God. Oh, wrong well, shit, I'm not drunk. And finally, number three, and most important of all, Saudi ghost hunters love kicking down spooky doors. But now recently I was sent a video that reveals something new and absolutely terrifying. We kicked it back. <laughs> that jam ain't going. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه ما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يود حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم لا إله إلا الله That's right Apparently these spooky doors are fighting back now So just a heads up if you're a door kicking Saudi ghost hunter, or you just aspire to be one, you be careful out there. <laughs> if you're These ghosts do not rock with you. You notice how this door was broken and the ghost tried to hurry up and fix it. Like, well, man, hit this nigga. Come look, watch. <laughs> oh my God, I'm starting to eat nigga. Come look, watch. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, honestly, my videos come out at weird times. So subscribe. Oh, shoot, no, my bad. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. New to the channel, honestly, my videos come out at. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? That was funny at the end. That was actually a pretty good one. I was expecting some jump scares. I'm like, yo, I'm going to enjoy 420 and some ghosts, some good jump scares. But this video actually did not go the direction I, I expected. It went, I wouldn't say a way of me thinking this was real, but it was like low key short films. It was like almost found footage, almost some uh freaking analog. Uh, yeah, which is, it was, it was pretty cool. This was actually was, was a dope uh compilation. Yo, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here and enjoy my day. Hey, you do the same thing. Enjoy your day, your morning, your evening, night. Whenever you're watching this video, dog, do me a favor. Click that like button for me. I appreciate it. Don't cost you a damn thing. Go ahead and click that real quick for me. Boom. That's all you got to do, dog. You hear this long anyway. If you hear me talk this part, you, you hear this long anyway. You rock with me. Stop playing. Stop being a hater. Hey, I'm out, though, dog.